your name is a household name in the U.S. and abroad. Why don't you give us a little bit of the background? How did Fred Hammond get started in the music? Um, you know, just my mother was a musician, my father was a musician, uh, but my mother is where we spent our time. And she, you know, took us, drug us to rehearsals. And, um, you know, she had a piano in the, she was an accomplished piano player and choir director. And, uh, but she always encouraged me uh, to like music. You know, in other words, you know, one time when I was, uh, she bought me this little record, had my own little portable record player. I was probably six years old, five, six years old. And she bought this little 45 home, you know. For those of y'all don't know what a 45 is, if you if you have a six as the third number in your birth date, you're gonna know what this is. But for those of y'all don't know, it's a little record. And for those of y'all don't know what records are, I don't know what to help you, but it's a little record about this big around and you put it on your little clothes and play record player. And uh, she brought me this record home one day and uh, I was listening to Little Stevie Wonder back in the day and all these other stuff that she would have around the house, Nancy Wilson, Lou Rawls, my father loved Lou Rawls. Um, and she said, hey, look at these boys. And when they got on there, they put it down. I saw these five dudes on there and they saw, oh, baby, give me one more day. And I was like, wow, these kids are great. And I thought, he said, you know, and I was singing along with it. And she heard that I could sing like him. And, but I was real shy. And she said, you know, if you open your mouth up, you can sing good as that boy. That was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. And I was like, oh, you'll never hear me sing again. Literally, I took my clothes and play and went in the closet upstairs in my room and I played it in the closet because I didn't want nobody to hear me sing. I couldn't imagine standing in front of all them people. Wow. So that's when it started. And this is uh, in Motown. You grew up in Motown. Motown. Yeah, so Best music, music was, city in the planet. So music was in the air it all was around. All yeah. around. Yeah. I mean, you know, I remember going to see the Supremes at Belle Isle with the Temptations. Yeah. You know, I remember seeing them. Like my father would put me on his shoulders and we'd see, we, he, we'd see them singing, you know, David Ruffin and, and the Supremes and um, Aretha Franklin. And uh, it was nothing to go to a situation and see them around. And, you know, Hitsville was right down on West Grand Boulevard, on yeah. East Grand Boulevard. And you can, if you drive by there, you might see Edwin Starr, or you might see Eddie Kendricks out throwing the ball, you might see Smokey and them out on the grass, wow. you know. Um, but it was very, very, it, it was a spiritual experience overall where the music was built. You know, there was a mecca, a spiritual mecca, music mecca right there. And um, that's, uh, that was, you know, very, very inspiring. Music.